Thank you. Let's talk about colors. You know the things you use to make your pages less bland, unless you're building a site for the Guild of Grayscale fans. <laughs> so say in your CSS you want to choose something different instead of the too frequently used Papaya Whip. There are three cool new features in DevTools that make that way easier. The eyedropper that's used to pick a color from the page has been around for some time, but it was always on, paradoxically making it harder to discover. You may have accidentally found it when your cat's been walking over your laptop. You know, one of those delightful discoveries like finding a Dorito crumb in your belly button. Right, Paul? <laughs> because so many people couldn't discover the feature, the team went all the way back to the drawing board. They thought long and hard, debated the personas, they wrote storyboards and facilitated focus groups. And if you look in your canary, you'll finally see the result of all that engineering effort. Observe the icon. <laughs> Moving on, there's a small but loud crowd of peach buff aficionados out there. I know, because I'm one of them. Now, if you need to take that name color and turn it into Hex, HSL, RGBA, CMYK, Munzel, or Pantone, you now can. Now go ahead and find out which of these I made up. But first, let me tell you about the biggest new feature in the new color picker. Say, for some reason, you're not happy with your standard go-to palette consisting of blanched almond and mint cream. Or maybe colors aren't your thing, but you still want to embrace your artistic side. Either way, DevTools got you covered with the new palettes. The custom palette allows you to store and later reuse your own color swatches whenever you need them. But the palette isn't just useful for storing your own colors. Of course, you're often sitting in front of a page that already has a bunch of colors and you want to reuse some. That's where the auto-generated palette comes in. It shows you the past colors from the current page, sorted by how often they appear in the CSS. And finally, the Material Design palette gives you a set of colors that look great out of the box. The colors you see in that list are all the primary colors of Material Design, but there's some nifty built-in magic with this one. Long press on one of them and you can pick a shade instead. Now go and make your life more colorful and let me know what you think in the comments below or on Twitter and subscribe to hear more about what's happening in the world of DevTools. From me, Paul Buckhaus and the rest of the Chrome DevTools team, we wish you a good evening and good debugging.